<sighs> you may be thinking, Dion, are you screwed or you basically are just a miserable clown that likes to basically see people like a hawk because they may be doing something bad that they, they, they shouldn't. Well, neither of those things, except for the hawk part, I guess, because you, like, you never know, like, what actually happens on the road. But, um, and not to mention, it's 10-14 right now, and, it, and it's the 18th of April. My brother, he's actually getting ready for work, by the way. And I saw, like, two police cars, like, down the alley. I'm not sure... They probably took, like, a detour or something because their, their lights were on, not the sirens. But, I don't know. It, it was weird. So, this has been boring me for quite a while. I need to rant. And for the ones that are still sticking around, I appreciate it. Okay? This needs to be heard. Um, hopefully. The thing is... Excuse me, this burped. Um, the incident that I had with our neighbor, right? Um, that I'm sure I mentioned the name before that even basically called me from upstairs. Well, I had the door open and she saw me like, um, you know, just basically standing up with the, with the lights on, right? You know, the, the living room light, if that makes sense. And basically she asked if I could look over for her stuff, which she meant by is basically, I'm guessing like the, well, I mean, there's, like, no car, like, downstairs, right? You got to send this is in the driveway, which is in a public place, right? I mean, like, downstairs, which you'll be hearing more shortly. The thing is, basically, she told me that she had her water jug stolen, I suppose, and there were some homeless people that were living downstairs. I think it's someone moved in. I don't know, though. But the thing is, is that, basically, there were squatters, right, that actually happened during that period. If you look up the Alex Bodger, I forgot what which which video it was for my playlist. Um, you will see that there was some, uh, you know, a little bit of a nasty um, incident that basically happened, which I'll be explaining shortly as well. She basically asked if I can actually just look over her stuff, and I do not mind because I was being a kind-hearted neighbor. Plus, she is the one that repaired my. Well, he didn't like repaired no she excuse me she then repaired my the whole vehicle of my brother's kia this basically i think in like the side bumper part or something like that like like um i i don't i forgot what part of the car i don't i don't drive or anything just late and now so please bear with me basically the incident when i was finishing up the project right because i want to go outside and see the stars at night as i want to finish up the video and i still have my phone being filmed right or recorded that makes sense and i saw her um out on the driveway with that cart right because i was hearing like some like loud noises or something and i basically was still recording right because i just want you know that i was being a really kind-hearted neighbor and all and I was just asked, like, how are you doing? And, you know, like, is everything okay? You know, something. I forgot the words I said. I just basically saying hi in a polite manner. And she saw me with my, with my phone recording, right? Because, like I said, again, this is our property. And she was on the driveway. Public space, right? Because she lives, like, in the other side of basic our neighborhood of the apartments we live in, right? And this is what really irritated me because just like, you know, this is why I do have a phobia of like being out in public and doing videos because it is a public space. But the thing is, I didn't want to offend anyone, right? Because it's when you don't have any friends at all, I don't have none, okay? And basically, people that wanted to just snap at you for no odd reason, it kind of sticks with your um, mindset. She gave me... A little bit of an attitude, right? That basically saying, like, why are you filming or something? Well, I was just, you know, I'm one, I'm outside, you know, on our patio. Two, I wanted to just, just, you know, film part of the sky. And three, I was just seeing what you're doing down here because you can usually see her, right? You know, like, like how the cars are parked, right? Outside. And basically, she just... Kind of yelled at me for no odd reason, saying I don't want to be filmed or something. She could at least said it in a more kinder way. Plus, it is in public, right? I do not have to um, deny it. If she doesn't like it, she just can go inside, right? But the thing is, for me, since I am a pushover, it's really difficult to not have people 
basically, you know, how their words affect you so easily. And if you see the video, I basically, you know, just said like in the first 10 seconds or so that you were, you know, I was hearing you outside from our patio and this is when I actually turned the flash on, right? After that video that I did, I deleted it because I don't like the ending when she basically said that. And I just told her to please be grateful after she basically gave me an attitude that I couldn't catch the squatters, basically the homeless people that, um, you know, like, I forgot, it's been like a month now, because I know since St. Saint, since Saint Patrick's Day, I made a video about it, right? Um, the ones that, are, that aren't supposed to be living there, unless someone moved in, I don't know, okay? I try to mind my, 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 ugh, minding my own business unless someone makes me part of their business, and she basically just gave me an attitude, like, you're out in public, okay? I don't understand it. It's not, it's not like I'm harassing you or anything, right? And it's been affecting me a lot because, like, every day I would be seeing, like, her, like, you know, parking, like, from, like, where my butter is parked because there's no, like, assigned parking spot, you know? It's a public parking space, right? And basically I saw her talking to someone else out here and she was waving goodbye to like an older man that was like in a white truck and I don't know it affects me a lot because when I try to be a great neighbor it's like as though I get my kindness taken for granted like yeah I get you don't want to be on camera but you can at least be more friendly about it right plus it's in public so I'll just let you know I think I have like a video for on private you know like when I showed the incident when she pointed out to me of oh Basically, this house before someone moved in, right? Because I was wanted to be supportive. Um, that was dealing with her things, right? And it really hurt me quite a bit that she had to raise her voice at me like that. So I don't want to tell my brother about this because I'm sure he gets tired of it. But the thing is, is that for me personally, this is why. Hold on. <sighs> I do be this. For that, because I just had, like, a little argument with my brother over this. I know this seems silly, because I don't want to, you know, have my brother and I fighting over the recording, like, as usual. But I just let you know, I like doing these videos because I like to help other people, right? And she, see, I don't, I don't no longer see her as a great neighbor over that incident, because I felt as though that my kindness was just sweeped under the refrigerator in Alaska in Barrow or somewhere. Like, I felt cold and basically isolated. And that's why sometimes I want to be honest, okay? I get a little bit paranoid just, like, hearing noises outside because she may be, like, talking to someone or, you know, I don't know, right? Because literally, like, you can actually hear what's going on outside sometimes, at least for me because I have good hearing. And basically... You know, I know this, this seems silly, but when you basically care for your neighbor, right, they do a lot for you, right? Which is what I, you know, wanted to do. I could have rejected it, but since she did help us in the past, well, my brother's car, right? At least it's like the side of the car or something like that. I don't remember. Um, basically, I looked over to see if her stuff would get stolen, and she just said, oh, you know what? You, sh you should have couched down, like, like, how would I go to cash on? That's one thing. And basically, she wasn't, she wasn't at least grateful for, you know, just being caring that, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm looking out, you know, for your stuff outside and whatever, right? And I don't know. I just feel a little bit frustrated because since I do get take advantage of so easily for being too kind-hearted. I know I've said that multiple times. With my autistic brain, I have to repeat myself. Um, I just felt a little bit hurt, and I'm not going to lie here. I do lose sleep over this, and, you know, like, it's a, like, it's a, you know, it, I guess you could say, I want to say it's a free country, but, you know, living here in the U.S., like, you know what, I'm not doing any harm whatsoever. Like, if you basically are filming out in public, you know, what's the harm? It's not like you're filming inside someone's bedroom or, you know, inside a hospital bed or something like that. Unless you're close to that person, then, you know, it, it just, ugh. I'm just getting, like, a little bit paranoid. And I just wanted to, to share this to let y'all know that 
it's really difficult for me to actually open up about my problems. And, you know, it'd be nice if I could actually make this up for it. And her just not giving me an attitude just because I was filming outside, right? And I just had my phone pointing down when I was saying hi to her. And she just basically yelled at me in a way. And it hurts a little bit, you know, because just being kind. And especially since she knows, like, how kind our family is. Like, my mother, my, my brother especially. You know, this is why we don't like to talk to people much. Because small incidents like this... It becomes major. And that's why you see the image of Scribber looking over his phone to Patrick. Because if you basically, like, let's just say for me, if I'm watching The Simpsons one evening and I see her outside and, you know, talking to one of the neighbors, I don't feel comfortable talking to her because of the incident that actually has happened, right? Or if I want to make a video, I feel that I don't have the right to actually do so outside. Because, oh, you know what? She basically is... You know, whatever the hell she's doing, right? Um, you know, like, in front of her car or somewhere, right? And this is just me being in public. You may be thinking I'm stalking. No. Okay? It's just that, like, ugh. Oh, no. I, I think, I hope that this, this, this didn't come out wrong. Especially when she told me that she has surveillance cameras of, like, her house or whatever. You know, like, if I'm being filmed while I'm walking around the neighborhood then why can't I do the same, right? Like, in front of the driveway and patio or something. Like, how I've been doing my videos for the ones that have been following me for a while, right? Because it's a public space. And there's no crime to that. But I feel like I am a criminal just because, oh, you know what? I was just basically saying hi to someone and, you know, filming them outside to see what they were doing because she was, like, fixing the cart or something. And she just got a, a little bit ballistic. And then I just went back inside. I, I felt... Deeply hurt for that, honestly. So, ugh. I deeply apologize. I just wanted to just get this out of my system, and it's 1032 right now. And, yeah, you know, this is why I get, like, a little bit paranoid if I was doing videos in public around people because they would get uncomfortable, right? I don't know how... See, if I was a fucking celebrity right now, I swear my life would probably be much more easier and just wanted to help other people. Not, I guess you could say from like a Mr. Beast perspective, which I'm very jealous of because I would never do anything like that. Never. Right? Because I would never accomplish something like that in my life. I, I just don't see it happening. Right? Basically, just to rephrase this, okay? I was looking up for my neighbor. You know, after she asked for help to see... If anyone was still her stuff, that's why I always would, like, document when I'm outside and all. You know, like, checking, like, downstairs on the driveway because, you know, like, whenever I do my videos, right? Just to give you all, like, an update of, you know, how it's, like, in our neighborhood or me just looking up for our neighbors. And basically, when I gotten done doing the Alex Bodger topic, she basically went a little bit ballistic just because I had my phone you know, recording out there is done. And also just showing the sky because, I, you know, we got such a great view. I just had to. And basically, you know, she was like fishing up the cart or something to make it hold. And she was like smoking a cigarette when that, that incident happened, right? And, you know, she just gotten like ballistic for no apparent reason. And it hurts a little bit because... I was, I was not yelling at her or anything like that. And I was just asking, you were just out in our patio, whatever. I just wanted to, you know, since I saw you, I just want to check up on you. And I, I was still, like, recording, like, my videos and all, you know. Just to let you know that that's one of our neighbors out here, right? I mean, like, in the other side, right? Because I'm keeping all that um, private, right? But, like, out, outside on, you know, the public grounds, right? Because the driveway is public, and, you know, I felt a little bit hurt that she just basically said, oh, you know, don't film me or something like that. Like, golly, like, what the heck did I do? You know, I was just being kind. I wasn't making fun of you or anything. You know, I wanted to show people, like, how kind of a neighbor you are. And basically, you just, you know, had to be, like, a complete wreck. I do not like her anymore because of that. Like, she's really sweet when we first met her. She was, right? And especially what she did for my brother's um, car when it was a little bit damaged and all. And, you know, like offering her number to keep contact with my brother and all. 
because I don't like to keep contact with anyone. I keep my, like, phone, especially how I've been dogs and summer bully, right? I, I keep that private. I'm not giving that out anymore. I did in the past, and that was my mistake. I'm not doing that. Um, you know, I felt a little bit hurt because, like, really, I don't understand it. Like, you've gotten ballistic. Like, I get it. You could at least kindly ask, like, can you not like, record me or something? And, okay, you know what? Fine. You know, kindness goes a long way. But this don't, like snap at me, which is what she did, and I got a little bit triggered, and that's when I, you know, when I did the other Alex Bodger video, the one in the beginning that has to flash on, right? You can hear the conversation before I went inside. It was really short because, you, you know, I, I, I got a little bit nervous because I know she was outside in public, but I didn't want her to, I don't want to make her look awful, but the word she, she said to me was really awful, and yes, it's, it's public. I know... I know, it's weird, like, over this one little thing, you know, because I love our neighborhood, okay? I never had any issues with any of our neighbors out here, not that I know of, and, you know, we've been living here for who knows how long, right? And for that to happen, it it hurts, okay? It does. And whenever I see her, like, out in public or, like, on the park lot or somewhere, then I would get, like, a little bit hesitant and I would feel, like, a little bit disgusted, right? Because... I don't want to be near her for that incident, right? I would love to make up truths with this, but she needs to understand that, you know what? Like, I'm out in, like, I'm out on the patio. I'm, like, literally just looking across the street, right? And it's in public space. I just do not want this incident happening again. Like, oh, are you filming or something? Just because I have my phone out, right? Like, literally, like, this, like, recording what's going on in the neighborhood or filming the birds or... You look in the gorgeous palm trees, right? And then I just do not want the incident. That's what's kind of barred me in a way because I just, you know, don't want to hear it. Like, are you recording? Like, yes, I am. What's the problem? Or like, literally, like we live right here in this spot, right? Like, literally, I'm outside, okay? I understand it. You know, I mean, even if I was pointing down, you know, I'm not interfering with anyone's privacy because on the driveway, on the street grounds, right? I don't know. I do apologize. I just had to rant on this because, you know, it, it's been bothering me a lot. It has. And also, I do keep um, where we live private because that's no one's business. Like, the name of where we live, I'm not giving that out because, you know, that, that's no one's business. It's not. That's private. Right? But, like, like you know, filming around the neighborhood or whatever, then that's totally public. I, I hope that my message was at least understandable f for y'all. I do be a part of this. I'm talking so, so long. It's just been bothering me a, a, a bit. Right? And I want to make peace with this neighbor of ours. But I don't know. Right? It's, just, it's, it's eating me up in a way. And it kind of reminds me of Casey in a way. That... Girl that I used to hang out with, um, basically, she would always get triggered. Like, oh, is, are you recording or something? Like, I mean, after the fight we had, right? I do miss her in a way, but at the same time, I don't. It's weird, right? Like, it's starting to kick in because after the fight we had, and she, I got, I felt a little bit awful because I don't want to expose her. Well, what she did was much worse than what that neighbor of ours did, right? I mean, just young at me still. It was uncalled for. But basically for Casey, though, when she wanted to almost get physical with me, you know, she kind of did. Um, basically, I felt a bit hesitant because it is in front of her house, right? And she was outside on the sidewalk, okay? And I have a right to record, you know, of, you know, to protect myself. Even though I felt a little bit hesitant because I didn't want anyone involved, you know? And that's why I, I stopped talking to her because... If you ever had another fight again, it'd, be, it'd probably be, be worse. And I don't want to get a criminal record for, for this. So, I, other than that, I deeply apologize if this story doesn't make any sense because I'm, like, hesitant on speaking this up. It's been barred to me for quite some time, right? And that's part of why, if I, whenever I get my phone repaired, okay? I know it's been taking eons to get it repaired. Um... I probably would be a little bit hesitant just to make Beatles on public again. Because, like, outside, right? You gotta remember, outside, like, as in, like, how I normally do my videos, right? 
and her just basically saying stop filming or something like when I like to just film what's going on across the street or you know like across from the you know the, the drive right or when I'm basically just living out of my house you know I'm like a little bit messed up in the brain right now in my autistic brain because I don't know like I that's why I want to help people have the damn courage to like do these like vlogs or traveling videos you know which is something that I admire by I'm just afraid that you know I may affect someone even though I'm not doing anything wrong yeah it's been, it's been bothering me I just hope that my voice is reaching out at least a handful of you out there maybe you know especially in my state okay it's, it's, it's been affecting me quite a bit, okay? I have to just rant because, honestly, like, I don't know. It really hurts a little bit because, like, yeah, you are just fixing up your cart or something, but you're on the public grounds, you know? I don't understand it. Like, I was being a kind neighbor, and I even had you in my video because I can, right? And, you know, just wanted to spread great, you know, like... Um, rumors about you and then you just had to just basically tell me do not record or something in a really rude way I don't like that you know it, it really messed it really basically affected my mental health on this because the reason why I never got on price of brain one or still safe right now is because I tried to mind my own business I don't like to be involved unless I had to be involved right and yeah, and basically, once again, just to rephrase this, okay, and the other way is that she did reach out to me because she saw me, um, you know, with our door open, like, right when I got back from Dollar Tree that one night, and she basically asked me because she saw, you know, squatters during that time that happened, like, a few weeks ago or something, like, I think it's been, like, what, almost a month now? on that incident right and that's why i wanted to document this because you know what i care for our neighbors and i don't want anyone's life to be in danger and the worst thing is for me just to look out for someone that's being yelled at i do not like that i don't you know if i could basically have an apology and that oh you know what i still have the right to actually record in a public place then i should right because i'm not harassing anyone Compared to, like, pranksters you see on YouTube that would basically film people while harassing them. That's totally different, you know, versus just saying hi and especially if it's front of her house. You know, like, it's if you're on public grounds, then, you know what, you should basically know that people can film as much as they want. You know, as long as, as, long as they're not, like, filming inside your house unless you're okay with it. You know, it's like that because it is a private place, but since I'm outside... Even though it's on our patio, well, it would be considered public, right? Like, as long as you're, like, outside. I, I can't explain it. I, I hope that this story didn't confuse any of y'all because it has been affecting me, all right? And I don't want to lose sleep over this. That's why I get a little bit ticked off that, you know, I get my kindness taken for granted. I know I said that for the fourth time already, but it has, you know been making me think twice on, you know, just basically forming friendly connections with people. This is why I shut myself out all the time, because I know, so, well, I didn't know this would happen, though, but, you know, this is why I get a little bit paranoid. <sighs> Jeez, I swear, it's hard to be a kind person sometimes. 